welcome to Snake Island. In the last episode, I finally left my comfortable campsite at Tampico Beach and set off to explore the rugged southern peninsula all the way to Soldier's Point, where I spend lots of time in the water and finally catch my first fish. I just caught a fish! Woo! This episode begins with an original audio recording of me sharing my thoughts as I lie on the ground on Soldier's Point, watching the moon rise over St. Thomas. I think the mosquitoes and noceums have been stayed away from me, I think. Haven't felt any bites. I'm itching like crazy. I'm not that bad. I've had worse. But I have literally, literally thousands of bites. I've got at least a thousand bites on my legs, at least. That's the worst thing about being here. It's just those bugs. You ever see the moon rise over St. Thomas? The moon's in a cradle shape and it just rises above St. Thomas. Really beautiful. And the, the moonlight reflecting on the sea. There's a nice steady breeze. A couple hours ago it was really windy. It stayed windy for a couple hours. The wind was really blowing. Why do I do this kind of thing? You know, before I set out to do this, I had I had a different vision of how it was going to be. I I definitely didn't expect it to be as difficult as it has been. Certain aspects have been surprisingly quite easy. The fact that I've been eating so little, average maybe 600 calories a day, and I've been going with quite a lot of energy. That really surprises me. The other thing is my ability to <laughs> to withstand all these insect bites. This is far worse than the last time and the last time I was going insane. That was something I underestimated those bugs. You really need a lot of bug repellent when you come here. A lot. You need something that really works. The other element that is so critically important about being out here is water. And it has only rained one time decent. Like a good rain. It's only We've only had one good rain out here. In this whole week that I've been here. But water has been surprisingly very scarce. It had been a week and I was really looking weathered. My whole body from head to toe was suffering from an annoying itching sensation that penetrated deep into my skin. For the past week, my diet has consisted mostly of cactus, sea grapes, chitons, and one raw fish. My adventure bars were now finished.
Sea snails are a good bait for many reef fish, but I didn't catch anything so I was back to eating chitons for breakfast. Being in this shallow pool was like swimming in a tropical fish aquarium. I set up this evapo bag yesterday afternoon. So it didn't have very much time to produce water. All my reserves nearly completely exhausted, including my camera batteries, it was now time to hike back to the town. I wasn't recording at the time, but what just happened before this last clip is that I was walking and I slipped and fell while carrying my GoPro camera without its protective case. The GoPro fell into two inches of water for two seconds, I pulled it out and no longer worked. Meanwhile, my DSLR batteries were almost dead. So all I did was take photographs the rest of the day. This is Ensenada Malena, or Malena Bay, and it's the end of the shoreline access that I'll have on the bay side due to the presence of mangroves along the shore. It's a nice beach with both coconut palms and sea grapes trees, providing lots of shade from the intense sun. I don't have photos or videos of what happened next, but what happened next is this. I was walking down the street to town, and I stopped under the shade of a tree next to a house, just to rest for a little while, when suddenly, out of nowhere, comes a CBP, Customs and Border Protection vehicle, rushes up and stops about 10 feet before me. The officer gets out, asks me what I'm doing here, who am I, do I have ID? I, I hand over my backpack and he goes through it, pulls out my wallet, finds my ID and proceeds to run a check on my ID. While I'm standing there, two more vehicles arrive. One is CBP and the other is a local Calabria police car. In about a minute, I'm surrounded by five officers and they're just standing there and I'm wondering what's going on. So I ask, may I ask what is going on here? And so they proceed to tell me that someone reported seeing a man carrying bags coming down the mountain at Soldier's Point. So what they explained to me is that this usually means it's an illegal immigrant or somebody importing drugs. So they really check that out. They take those cases real seriously. So after a little bit of chit chat with the officers, they were friendly. They finished running my ID, all was good, and they let me go. And so I continued on. I walked to the only hostel on Isla Calabra and got a bed for a couple of nights. After a short nap, I took a shower and bought food at the local grocery store. 
While charging my camera batteries, I was also charging my batteries. I slept in the next day until 9.30 a.m., got up, had breakfast, and then slept some more. Then I did a short hike to Dateli's Beach and Bahia Linda, which has easy access by a dirt road. It's on the other side of the point where Tampico Beach is located. The water is really warm due to the shallow depth. Then I walked to town and ate at this very inexpensive restaurant with surprisingly good food. Back at the hostel, I was reading my notes I had written before coming to Isla Culebra and I discovered that the rash on my legs was actually caused from a poisonous plant called Christmas bush that contains the same toxin as poison oak in its leaves. On day two, I had used branches of that plant to scratch my itchy legs caused from the noceum bug bites. The day then ended with me going to bed early to get a good night of rest for the next day of exploration. On the next Snake Island Survival Adventure. I get up early to watch the sunrise from the top of the hill. Then after a nutritious breakfast, I walk through town along the other side of Ensenada Onda to explore the eastern side of Isla Culebra and stumble upon a pirate camp. 